They were bigger, stronger, meaner, and for thousands of years they ruled the ancient Americas. Now scientists are bringing them back, or at least something like them. What were dire wolves? Dire wolves Anoxion dirus were iconic predators of the Ice Age, renowned for their strength and hunting prowess. Unlike modern gray wolves, they belong to a distinct evolutionary branch, making them genetically and biologically unique. Dire wolves were larger and more robust than gray wolves, with stronger jaws that crush bones and tackle massive prey. They were specialized hunters, likely preying on megafauna such as mammoths and giant ground sloths. Dire wolves roamed the Americas, thriving in both North and South America during the late Pleistocene epoch, approximately 250,000 to 10,000 years ago. Fossil evidence suggests they adapted to a variety of environments, from grasslands and forests to icy tundras. Dire wolves were significantly larger than modern gray wolves, weighing around 60 to 70 kilograms, 130 to 150 pounds, and standing over one meter, 3.3 feet, their robust frame, muscular build, and powerful bite allowed them to dominate their ecosystems as apex predators. Evolution and Extinction The evolutionary history of dire wolves were among the most formidable predators of the Ice Age. They first appeared around 250,000 years ago and thrived across North and South America. These powerful creatures were close relatives of conids like gray wolves, but DNA evidence has shown that they were part of a completely separate evolutionary lineage. Unlike modern wolves, dire wolves were larger and better adapted for hunting megafauna like mammoths and giant sloths. Why did dire wolves go extinct? Dire wolves vanished approximately 10,000 years ago during the Pleistocene-Holocene extinction event. Several factors likely contributed to their demise. The decline of their primary prey species such as mammoths and bison led to food shortages. Their dietary specialization may have limited their ability to adapt to smaller prey when large mammals began disappearing. Dire wolves showed little evidence of interbreeding with other canid species, suggesting limited genetic flexibility for survival. As the Ice Age ended, significant climate changes caused shifts in ecosystems. Warmer temperatures and melting ice led to the loss of open tundras and grasslands, which were habitats favored by dire wolves and their prey. Scientific discoveries and de-extinction The La Brea Tar Pits in California are one of the most famous fossil sites in the world, providing a treasure trove of information about Ice Age predators including dire wolves. Thousands of dire wolf fossils have been unearthed here revealing insights into their anatomy, hunting behavior, and role in the ecosystem. These fossils have helped scientists piece together the story of this legendary predator. Colossal Biosciences, a cutting-edge genetic engineering company, recently made headlines by using ancient DNA to create three dire wolf pups. You made a dire wolf. Our incredible team made three dire wolves so far. Jamie, pull that up. That's so the pup. We have two boys, Romulus and Remus, and then we have Khaleesi, who's the new girl. Let's have, see the photo of the actual grown ones, because they're f***ing nuts. So this is Romulus and Remus playing in the snow on the preserve when they are three months old. So, <laughs> so three is, months, how big are they? Three months, they were north of 45 pounds. Wow. So Look at that face. God, they're so beautiful. Oh, they just get, as they've aged, they've just got more and more beautiful. The process involved extracting and analyzing DNA from dire wolf fossils, then editing the genomes of gray wolves to include dire wolf genes. While the pups are hybrids carrying 99.9% .9 gray wolf genome, they possess traits reminiscent of their extinct ancestors. This achievement marks a significant milestone in the field of de-extinction. So let's, let's get to the criticisms, because uh, there's people that are saying that these are not dire wolves, that what you've done is just manipulate the DNA of a gray wolf. They are dire wolves because we have manipulated the DNA of gray wolves. We, we took dire wolf genome sequences from animals, one animal that lived 72,000 years ago and one animal that lived 13,000 years ago, and we lined them up next to each other and figured out what it is that makes a dire wolf a dire wolf. And then we used the tools of genome engineering to bring those traits back in Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, that are three dire wolves that are alive now. 
Um, and that has created these animals that you saw that are bigger and they're stronger and they have that dire wolf coat. And that's a cool thing too. That coat, the light coat color that you see, was something that we absolutely could not have known without the ancient DNA. Popular culture and dire wolves. Dire wolves captured the imagination of millions when they appeared as the loyal companions to the Stark family in HBO's Game of Thrones. These enormous, majestic creatures were portrayed as fiercely intelligent, protective, and almost mythical. They became symbols of strength and resilience, deeply tied to the narrative arc of the Stark children. The dire wolves in Game of Thrones are highly exaggerated versions of their prehistoric counterparts. Real dire wolves were powerful predators, larger than modern gray wolves, but they lacked the almost supernatural size and intelligence depicted in the show. While the dire wolves of the Ice Age were impressive, they weren't towering beasts capable of forging deep emotional bonds like the ones seen on screen. Dire wolves have appeared in various forms of media beyond Game of Thrones. From documentaries about prehistoric life to novels and games, they've become a symbol of mystery and power. They are often featured in fantasy games such as Dungeons & Dragons, Dire Wolves vs. Modern Wolves. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, the Dire Wolf wins on brute force, but the Grey Wolf? It's lighter, faster, and more tactical. Dire Wolves were ambush predators, crushing bone and devouring massive prey. But in today's world of urban sprawl and shifting climates, they'd likely struggle to adapt. Evolution rewards flexibility, not just power. The role of dire wolves in ecosystems. Dire wolves were apex predators with a diet primarily consisting of large Ice Age megafauna. They preyed on animals like mammoths, bison, horses, and giant ground sloths. Their powerful jaws and teeth allowed them to crush bones, giving them access to nutrient-rich marrow, a valuable resource in the harsh Ice Age environment. They likely scavenged as well, consuming the remains of other predators' kills. As top predators, dire wolves played a critical role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems. They controlled herbivore populations, preventing overgrazing and promoting healthy vegetation growth. Their presence also ensured competition among predators, which contributed to a diverse and dynamic ecosystem. Alongside creatures like saber-toothed cats and giant bears, they were among the dominant hunters of their time. The extinction of dire wolves, along with other megafauna, caused significant disruptions to Ice Age ecosystems. Without top predators like dire wolves, prey populations became less regulated, leading to imbalances. This may have contributed to changes in vegetation and habitat structures. Additionally, the loss of these apex predators likely paved the way for smaller, more adaptable predators, such as gray wolves and coyotes, to dominate the landscape. Nature doesn't leave empty thrones for long. Gray wolves and humans stepped in. The return of a legend, a resurrection of the past. But as we stare into the eyes of these genetic ghosts, one question echoes louder than the rest. Should we bring them back? And if we do, what happens next? Like the video and subscribe to our channel and join the hunt.